Hey guys, so uh, today's little video is going to be about the procedure that I use to denox my gold bearing solutions using sulfamic acid. Uh, in the past I have done the evaporation procedure which works very well. When I only go slightly over with the nitric acid additions I like to just put some uh, gold buttons into my solutions which then um, will consume the excess nitric acid by putting more gold into solution but uh, when you go over a little bit too much it can take a very long time with gold buttons to get all the nitric acid neutralized and so one of the things that are, one of the tools in my little toolbox is using sulfamic acid now it took me a long time to get good or useful at using sulfamic acid what happened in the beginning is you'd start with a solution and you wouldn't really know the level of the solution and the level of the nitric acid which means that you either um, you add the sulfamic acid and either nothing happens which which still happens quite often or a um, very violent reaction happens and it's very hard to pick the point where you've added enough sulfamic acid if you add too much sulfamic acid you will end up uh, dropping some gold out of solution and at the end of the day you're going to find some sparkly uh, sparkly gold almost like a powder but not like the brown powder when you drop gold out of solution with uh, SMB sparkly like like almost like it's a metallic dropout uh, if you if you that's if you overdose too much if you underdose with the sulfamic acid you'll try to drop your gold out of solution and nothing will happen which is very frustrating as well because then you've just contaminated a solution uh, anyway uh, sulfamic acid also has one other uh, big benefit uh, in its denoxing and that is that it actually turns uh, it forms sulfuric acid um, and it's great to add a little bit of sulfuric acid into your solutions uh, right at the end uh, the reason being that that causes the uh, lead to precipitate out and which can then be, f be cooled and filtered the, the lead out of the solution so um, biggest problem with sulfamic acid is you don't really oh well biggest problem with solutions in general is you don't really know what the level of your excess nitric is and when to stop adding the sulfamic acid and if you've watched my previous videos you've probably got a good idea about where this is going and what you want is a gold button so this is a 24 karat button that I've dropped out a few grams um, we're just gonna drop it in obviously you want to weigh your button first so drop it in gently because um, turn on the extraction drop it in gently because you don't want to damage your glassware I have broken glassware by dropping gold in because it's so dense too fast so I'll move it right up to the uh, right up to the glass there and I will zoom in for you guys in a second unfortunately we have a little bit of a dirty solution like this uh, it's not quite as clear, but I do like denoxing before I do any filtering. So let me zoom in on that button for you guys there. And hopefully you will be able to see some, uh, yeah, quite a, quite a decent reaction happening there. If, you, if I zoom out a little bit and you look up above at this level here, you'll see a lot of bubbles coming off of that so there's a, a substantial excess of nitric acid in here the temperature of the solution currently is about 85 degrees Celsius so I'm actually going to um, up the temperature now um, I want this temperature to be very hot for the sulfamic acid additions so I'm going to put the temperature up to about 95 degrees and then I will uh, I will come back to the video okay so the solution is now sitting at about 94 degrees celsius which is going to turn the heat all, oh, down a little bit at the moment uh, that's nice and warm you can see a very vigorous reaction happening there with my uh, gold button and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add sulfamic acid in the dry powder form just a little bit at a time so i'll just grab a little bit here uh, small amounts very important here so this is a, a tablespoon I've got here and I've got about, sorry it's, it's all white, but I've got about a third of a tablespoonful. 
which might already be too much for the amount of nitric acid in there, but we'll find out. So I'll get the watch glass out of the way, so you can still see a good reaction happening there. So now, if I put it in, see the violent reaction. See the like that. That's only added about uh, one little tap. So you'll see most of it is still on this spoon. So once you get a little bit of a reaction like that, you wait for it to die down, and then you give it a stir. And when you stir it, sometimes you will get a secondary secondary reaction. Very gentle with your additions here. Now let's just wait a little bit and just see um, if we're denoxed by keeping an eye on that button on that gold um, button. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's still a reaction happening there, so we're going to give it a little bit more. So, much less of a reaction this time, as you can see there. So we give it another stir. temperature off completely and um, you don't really want to boil your solution because the um, can boil gold out of solution but also it's really hard to tell the difference between bubbles uh, created by the, um, the, the the reaction with the gold button versus the boiling so at the moment as you can see there at the bottom I am boiling this which means um, what I'll quickly do for you guys is we'll add in some additional insulation. So I'm just going to put another ceramic pad in below that one, which should um, which should cool things down rapidly as it is done there. Um, and I'm going to bring in some lighting. And yeah, absolutely uh, no reaction there with the gold button. What I'll do now is I'll just keep this solution around the 90 degree temp Celsius uh, range for a, a little while longer and um, just come and check on this again in about 10 minutes or so and if there's no reaction with that gold button at that point then I will um, uh, cool, the, cool the solution with ice, so put three or four ice blocks probably in that much solution and then I will filter it all out um, which should give me a nice clear solution just with filtering this all of the contaminants you see in there are um, quite large so it should all filter out fairly easily and then uh, drop the gold out in the normal way but yeah that's how you uh, want to do the sulfamic acid denoxing it does work very well but you need to have that gold button in there to have control over what's happening so it's very visible to you when you know what level you're at and when you're done because you don't want to overdose on the sulfamic acid okay hopefully this video will be uh, helpful to someone and um, i'll be back later on